folks. That means it's three o'clock. Let me show you what three o'clock looks like. Well, what did you expect? We're getting on the road. We're about ready to go. This is gonna be awesome. I got my decoy ready to go for my bow. That's right, it's bow season. I'm gonna get on the road. We're gonna get out there and hopefully have a hugely successful hunt for deer and turkey. All right, guys, we made it out here. It is no longer 3 a.m. I'm still very tired, but uh, if you remember Kyle from one of my former videos, uh, he was on the review video for the Kelty Gunnison 2. He's back with me today, and we are going to go look for deer and turkey and uh, see how things go because it is archery season for both, non-permit tag, over-the-counter, the guys at Walmart were awesome. The guy at Circle K this morning was also awesome. He is an author, so shout out to him. Let's see, which, what were his books? He let me know. The House of Little Frog and the Three Tro Trolls Under the Bridge. Sir Cobbleham, pen name. That's awesome. Nice to meet you, buddy. Let's go deer hunting, shall we? Let's go. All right. So we just saw three bucks together. That is the first time I've ever seen bucks out hunting. And I've got my decoy, as I almost poked my cameraman. So I got my decoy, and we're gonna go chase these bucks. They were a nice size. So um, I gotta grab my tags though. So we drove those bucks, we caught up with them twice. There was a group of three big bucks and one little guy that was kind of following along. I was able to catch up a couple times. I was using my decoy and that helped. So Kyle looped around and he actually spooked out a few elk <laughs> in the process. So the elk ran off. They didn't even care about me. I think it was because I was hiding behind the decoy. They didn't run away from me. They kind of ran across. And I think it was because he was tracking around the other way. So that was really exciting. Um, I'm really bummed that we lost them, but in our rush to get out there, we left our water and everything back at the truck. So uh, I'm back, I'm just waiting for Kyle to get back because we're, it's getting time where they're all going to bed down anyway. It's going to be difficult to see any of them actually moving around. And the last time I saw the little one, um, I think they were right about to bed down. So we will try again. We'll keep going. Um, we're going to progress further after we rehydrate and see what we can find. So we're back out. It's the afternoon. Can't talk. We're in buck territory. Well guys, it's been a fun day. Um, those bucks that we saw in the morning were the only ones that we saw the rest of the day, which is a bummer because we got, we, we tracked them, we found them twice. After they had run away, they surprised us, we surprised them, it was all one big surprise. So we weren't ready in time, which is very unfortunate because they were big and beautiful and glorious. So I'm the Dollar Sportsman, I'm going to go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, I just want to say, Schwacker Broadheads. I tested them out today against a couple of other Broadheads and they flew just like um, field tips. And they, they come in the packet with a sample that you can use that you don't have to actually use the mechanical broadhead. Let me get my light better. There we go. And anyway, I used that sample and it, it flew just with my field tips. It was incredible. So I'm really excited to try one of those out. I'm hoping I'll still get the chance. But if not, we will make something happen somehow with an experiment. But in any case, I'm impressed by their flight. 
I don't know how they're going to work from a uh, ballistic perspective yet. Hopefully I'll get to find out. But in any case, I would recommend them for flying just like fill points. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Subscribe, share, you know, the drill. And uh, comment below with your best deer hunting experiences. By far the best. What happened? What made it the best? Even if that means you didn't get the deer, what made the experience the best? I'm interested in here. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Got some shotguns, a couple of buddies, and it's gonna be a great day. I've got ten right. Oh, that should be fun. Comes open real easy. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Well, I'm the Dollar Sportsman. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you for joining us today. You can get a lot of good stuff from this.